In this video, I'm going to share with you how I managed to grow my salon clientele twice as fast and how you can do the same. Implementing these tactics into your business can help you grow exponentially and start generating more clients and ultimately more profit. Now, as I'm sure you're aware, your business needs clients to be successful and that can take months if not years to do. I'm going to trim the fats and share with you 11 of the most impactful fastest tactics that you can apply within the next few days to immediately start having an effect on your business. So having opened several salons myself, these are the methods that I have personally found to have the fastest growth. So let's start off with hosting competitions. Hosting competitions every now and then using the power of social media can generate massive exposure for your salon and in turn bring clients through your doors. So if you think of typical advertising, generally you pay a fee and then your adverts get shown to people. That's pretty straightforward. So with competitions, the goal is to make people share your content. The only cost you would incur is either the discount you are willing to offer or giving away a service for free, if that's your offer. In my case, I generally offer a course of laser hair removal treatments to a particular value. And depending on how big I want the competition to be, I will adjust the value. Generally, the bigger the price, the more virality, but not always. So make sure to test it out for yourself. The key is though to have entry requirements that promote sharing. So to enter the competition on a platform like Facebook, your audience would have to tag three friends, like the post and maybe even leave a comment of some sort. Most people will share this with their friends, which will be similar to your target audience. You can then select a lucky winner from the entrance. Next is to offer a referral program. Reward clients for referring people to you. These tend to be one of the best types of clients because their trust is already with you. For example, if a friend is referring you to a business, they trust you already. They trust you can do the same for their family or, or friend. This referral incentive doesn't need to be big. It can be a small discount for your client and the newly referred person, or it can be a, a small gift of some sort. In fact, according to a marketing survey conducted by Texas Tech, 83% of satisfied customers are willing to refer products and services. But here is the catch only 29% actually do. That's something to massively capitalize on. I personally have seen great results implementing this program and does excellent in terms of attracting the right kind of people into your salon. This one is a no brainer in today's day and age, but it's a website. You need a good looking website that reflects your brand. There's no excuse to not have a website that people can go and find you on. In fact, if you don't have a website, people immediately lose trust in your business think about that logically you probably would as well it seems a standard nowadays with so many free cost-effective website builders available today you can have professionally looking websites up and running in a single afternoon an important thing to keep in mind is that your website needs to be mobile friendly because people will visit it from their phone most of the time and book from it the easier you make it for your potential clients to book an appointment the more they will the less friction your clients has, the better it is for everyone, including yourself. Next is to set up Google My Business for your business. It's for free and drives countless people to your business. It also establishes trust and that your business is real and that clients can leave reviews for others to see. So full transparency. I'll include links in the description to all these relevant resources. This now brings us to client testimonials and reviews. You need to build a solid review for your salon. I do this by asking my clients how their treatments were, whether it's on Google, Facebook, Yelp, or your website directly. Pro tip, I automate this process so the reviews can roll in without physically asking each and every single client every time. Let me know in the comments if that's something you would be interested in learning about. You need strong reviews again because it builds trust and social proof and can boost your ranking in Google locally, which means your clients will find you before your competitors. In fact, the study was done by Bright Local that showed 57% of consumers will only use a business if it has four or more stars. So another pro tip is to repurpose testimonials left on one platform and show them on others like Instagram for your clients to see. Doesn't have to be limited to one platform. Run a limited time promotion. So 
There are many ways, different ways to do this, but first let's understand the thinking behind it. So people that don't know your business at all are referred to as cold clients or cold audience. Now the job is to turn those cold clients into warm clients. And the way to do this is generally to give them a bit of a nudge. Once they give us the time of day to show them our service and prove ourselves, this is when they become warm clients. And then it's a chance for them to become loyal clients. So how do we nudge them into becoming warm clients? By offering them a limited time promotion. Now this promotion needs to entice the clients to give your salon a try. So an example would be offering a discount on their first laser hair removal session. It generally is an expensive treatment this way it's basically putting your money where your mouth is and showing confidence in your service. This is what I do. It takes that first time commitment away from your clients and basically enables them to give you a try. And hey, if you're cracked up to be what you say you are, then they'll come back and pay full price. Don't go overboard though and discount yourself too much because this could also make your clients think negati negatively of your quality. Ideas off the top of my head would be using it as a, a new store opening offer or when there is a big uh, event like Black Friday. The next one is commonly underutilized but it is partnering with local businesses to feed each other business and create some sort of a synergy. This partnership should create a win-win situation for both businesses. The goal is to leverage both of your clients to each other. So let's say you're a hair salon and you have a coffee shop next door. You could serve your clients in salon from the coffee shop's menu. This way you enhance your client's experience in the salon and vice versa the coffee shop could provide advertising space or promote a discount when ordering from the hair salon. The idea is to create a partnership that works for both of you. This was just an example but you get the idea, use your imagination. Now for the low hanging fruit but notably not to neglect. Ask family and friends for recommendations. Provided that your service is top-notch, your community should be more than happy to spread the word to show support for your business. And if you already have a database, tap into that and ask for recommendations in a smart way. Then client retention. This is so, so important. Get your clients to rebook before they walk out the doors for their next appointment. Obviously, you would like to force them, but don't do that. Some clients don't want to book on the spot. So I'd suggest let them go and make a note, follow up and give them a call in a few days and maybe book them. Then with less pressure, they should make a booking. If they don't, make sure they enjoy the treatment. This could be a sign of a, a bigger problem. An obvious one, but paid advertising. Whether it's Google Ads, Facebook or local publications, especially when you are new and looking to establish yourself, paid advertising can give you that initial traction and boost. Make sure though that you have your foundations covered first, like your website and your branding. If you're going to actively spend money on advertising, you want to put your best foot forward. Finally, the most obvious, but probably the most taken for granted is to make sure your service is on point and even go one extra. If clients genuinely have the best experience, they will naturally be your biggest brand ambassadors. They will do all the heavy lifting without you even needing to ask them. Surprise them with small gestures like uh, small chocolates or writing a welcome note before their appointment will make them tell their friends. If you are just starting out or thinking about starting your own business, then you will like this video over here about how I write a business plan that won't fail you. Using these exact methods have helped me increase my salon clientele fast and I'm pretty sure that they will work for you too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you there.